It is beyond the shadow of doubt that shaming the children has been one of the issues that have attracted the interest of people from all walks of life. And the most common question related to this subject is whether it is the right or wrong way to punish the children's wrong behavior. So personally, I believe that shaming the children is not an appropriate solution and should not even be considered as an option. As a matter of fact, by shaming the kids, by either their parents or their teacher, it will affect their mental health sooner or later, either by creating insecurities, developing anxiety or depression, or by making them lose their self-esteem. It is true that children and teenagers in general commit a lot of mistakes. I agree with that. But by bruising their ego like this, parents will not only lose their children's trust, but also destroy their personality unconsciously, while their original goal was to actually fix their attitude. So I suggest that the parents communicate with their children, understand why they did that, and help them fix the problem. Or just explain to them that what they did is wrong, and show them the consequences so they won't do it ever again. And I can assure you that in most of the cases, this solution will give better results than actually shaming them in front of everyone. As the course goes on, if a child lives with criticism, he learns to condemn. If he lives in hostility, he learns to fight. If a child lives in shame, he learns to be ashamed. You may have noticed recently that public shaming videos have been creeping up on online forums with an increased frequency. Parents often create these videos in reaction to their child doing something they disapprove of in an attempt to teach him a lesson. In fact, while watching these videos, we can obviously see that the kids are bumped out down in the dumps with their long faces, bursting into tears while feeling heartbroken and grieved. They are suffering in dignity of being exposed to scorn and derision. Unfortunately, for a lot of parents, discipline takes the form of humiliating and shaming their kids publicly. Dear parents, this is not discipline. This is called child abuse. At minimum, these punishments are enough to crush your child's self-esteem and tear down his trust in people who should love the most. Apart from this, let's get something straight. Humiliation does not teach kids anything valuable. It only serves to teach them that they do not matter, that when they make a mistake or fall short in some way, they will be put on display for public conception and criticism, that they will be cut down and devalued. As a consequence, they will think that the reason not to still lie or hurt people is not because of how it affects others, but because of the consequences they themselves will face if they get cuff. Furthermore, shaming does not teach children to respect their parents, but rather to fear and avoid them. However, if you already brought shame on your child with punishing him this way, your kid will need to hear you apologize. You need to communicate clearly and promise that this won't happen again. In addition to this, try to hear your child out. You should know that disciplining as opposed to punishing, it's all about training. It's the idea that you want to guide, instruct, inform and teach your children how to behave instead of punishing them for misbehaving. In the other hand, your kids need attention, plain and simple. When you fill your children's attention baskets positively and proactively, they will become more competitive and less likely to seek out attention in negative ways. Negative ways. And please, be encouraging when your kids do the right choices. Lastly, you should set limits and stick to them. This does not mean you need to go overboard with hundreds of rules, but focus on what is most important. Be clear about the ground rules and what happens when someone breaks them. To sum up, do not let yourself become concerned with raising a good kid that you forgot you already have one. Because at the end of the day, 
the most overwhelming key to child success is the positive involvement of the parents. Thank you. No one can deny that children's shaming has been one of the most debatable topics in the recent years. A significant majority of experts agree that it has severe consequences. Some of them are social and psychological issues. In fact, education isn't a piece of cake. Many parents and teachers find themselves wondering what on earth they can do to encourage their kids to behave appropriately. Public shaming isn't the answer and it could even have the opposite effect as children become isolated and self-involved. Humiliating children is the same as bullying. It could be devastating for a child's emotional health. In addition to this, it doesn't teach a viable lesson. A child must feel wanted and protected. He always needs a shoulder to lean on. To conclude, a parent must do everything to not lose their kid's trust, because trust is what makes a family. As Heidi Stone said, mock your children as struggle and they will learn to never share the struggles with you. So as we saw in the video, these parents used a little bit of hard way of education was to publicly shame in their kids, which must appear like a savage way to educate, but which in my opinion is completely legitimate. And, and we saw in the video that it was not that big shaming. It was, except for the, the, the boy that was, that was shaved, the, the, who the head was shaved, shaved, this one I wouldn't put, post it on the web. For the others, parents uh, breaking their, their kids' phones or something like this, or uh, re giving back the, their games to the store. Not that, it's, not a, it's, not, it's not a traumatizement uh, that big. It's a gadget. So I don't see, a, except for one or two that were a little bit extreme, for the majority, I, thought, I think it's, just, it's nothing that, that special. Okay, you might have a point, but I still don't agree with you. And uh, now um, let's move on to Fatim Zahra. Moderator should be neutral. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I, I apologize. I respect your opinion, Mr. Hussain, but you are speaking as a teenager or an adult, but I want to tell you some kids, even they like teddy bear or even the blanket, means a lot for them like a game or a toy being destroyed is not an easy thing for uh, a kid in nine years old or uh, it's not they... normal to have this emotional attachment to an object um please just hear her i'll let her finish in. Okay, i mute myself i said i Don't do it, sir. Opinion. i just want to comment so for me uh, I like it so much the exp experience that the dad did in the video and how he said in a very easy simple way like teach your kids by send, uh, like being the example and showing them examples and what's most like interest me in the video look how the, his son was happy he said like I was happy being like myself look how he was happy and like comfortable of being himself. As when you uh, like shame or punish your kid in those ways, what you are teaching him, like uh, fe feeling no self-esteem, no confidence, feeling like insecure in his own house, like he can not even have a debate or a conversation with his parents, like feeling afraid all the time, even that can go to hate your parents. And I want to tell, like from my personal experience, as teacher mentioned with teachers, like it was, uh, I can't remember, like at least 10 years back or more. And I still remember that teacher who, like just by telling me, go out and stand in front of the door. And I did nothing, but it doesn't matter if I did or not or no. It's still why you are make me 
to stand in front of the door of the classroom and the other kids in school are like walking around me and looking at me like sh what she did to be stand there. It was like 10 years back or more. And still remember, even as an adult, I understand now that there is some teachers that like uh, should think more about the punishment and the teaching ways, but I still like feel the impact of, of that uh, event in my life. So I totally believe that this ways can give nothing to the kid except of like feeling un unprotected, feeling unsafe, feeling the hate and trying to be aggressive as his, their parents. If your kids steal, if your kids lie, if your kids post something inappropriate in his social media, like think, how can you teach like the, the mother who were like exposing her daughter for uh, publishing, posting her pictures. How can you teach like your, your daughter like the extremely negative side of the mass media of, and Instagram and Facebook by posting her video being shamed in public in those social, social media? So if you private her home from her phone or from being on social media at that age, I will understand by posting her on social media and being more viral and like, I don't remember the number of people who watched the video. How can you million. make your, yeah, thank you, Ryan. Make your, your daughter uh, feel and understand. The only thing that you, they will get, the only lesson is the opinion of people is always what matters in this life and being yourself or learning about yourself, like it's the wrong thing to do. And even parents, they were kids. Each one of us made mistake in the past. And from mistake, we learn, you should say. Okay, just now let's move on to Ryan. We apologize. Okay, so Sorry, basically, yeah, it's all right. Basically, my idea is that nowadays parents I feel like there's something wrong with them. Like honestly, this is this is ridiculous. Like if you if you go, if you're going to punish your son, put it on the internet for people to see it. It's really it's really like out of this world. Like it's not something that a human would think of doing. Like I I feel like these parents nowadays just like to have a bit of attention on the internet because probably it's not something that they were used to in the past. So nowadays, like probably they like to be a little bit more uh, integrated in that in that platform. You know, some people, some parents, uh, like they they really don't have any clue what they're doing on the internet. They just like to like uh, post random videos on YouTube, and all of a sudden they stumble upon their uh, a video of their kid of of uh, punishing their kid, and they're like, hey, this is interesting. I'll get a lot of views from this, and they start posting it here without without knowing the consequences. I've seen a, an article, I've read an article, uh, it was a 13-year-old girl who suicided because of this. And this, this, is, this is actually very dangerous. Like if, if this is driving teens and kids to suicide, in, then this is a very, this is a worldwide problem. It's, this probably only exists in America, but like it's, it's, still, it's still something that has to be dealt with. Uh, I believe that parents nowadays should have some form, some form of uh, like, uh, like kindness and like be, being at least, uh, at least knowing what you're doing. Like, like you, you need, you need to take a deep breath before actually doing something. Uh, some, some parents probably they, they just heard, they just heard that their kid did something wrong and like out of, out of anger and. Uh, uh, like sometimes they're really angry and they get really furious so they they, they just take the decision and start punishing punishing them right away when actually you should I, it, it is true that like sometimes you, you have to uh, you ha the, the, I, I, I believe that sometimes the punishment that is most effective is when it is applied immediately in private because sometimes parents say, okay, I'm going to deal with you at home. This is a very wrong way of punishing a kid. And, and, and like sometimes if, you, if you're going to do it in public, this is really bad. Like uh, uh, I've, I've sometimes been in that place where I was shamed in public. In, like, it's, it's not as bad as what they're doing, but like sometimes, you know, there's some wrong things and your parents just shame you in public. Like it's, 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 
it's something that shouldn't it, that shouldn't be done in public it should be done in private it's a it's it's a it's a personal problem that you have to deal with your son in a private talk in a private conversation maybe settle down a little bit and try to figure out what you're going to do try 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 to think of a solution before actually doing something because sometimes when you're angry and you take the decision right away it's it's a very it's a very wrong thing to do especially when you're when you're doing it to a child a child is very sensitive in a way and if you have if you do something wrong to him especially that nowadays teens you know a lot of uh, uh, a lot of teens I, I feel like now now a lot of teens have a lot of problems um, uh, mostly mostly like I've seen people who have anxiety some people have depression maybe some parents don't even know about it and I've seen I've talked to to teens nowadays who have these kind of problems but their parents they just don't care sometimes and, and like they they just have to live with it and sometimes when you when when, when they're too too crowded with a lot of personal problems and then and then their parents like uh, they punish them publicly and humiliate them it's it all it all just it's it all just like the 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 the, the, the little kid just wants to like yeah it gets worse the, sometimes the kid just wants to die or something like i've seen people who have commit who have wanted to commit suicide like i've i've, been, I've talked to someone who uh, uh like he had had some problems with his family and stuff and like uh, he says i want i want to i want to commit suicide and it's 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 really it's really very uh, dangerous like his parents do not know that he has problems and nowadays teens should be uh, uh parents should be aware of their teens problems because sometimes the, the like the teenage is is a very important step in a in a in a in a, in a human's life like it's 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 a ste it's it's a period where you are going to to uh, to meet a lot of people you know uh, make a lot of relationships with people and learn about new things that you did not know sometimes you can even gain some negative things from friends you know influence uh, influencers from you know social media and it is it is in this in this period that teens decide to go on the internet you know and, and that affects them very negatively and this is something that parents should be aware of before actually taking any further decisions and, and punishments towards the child uh, because as a teenager i feel like they should be more careful to what they to what they do to their to their to their kids because you know sometimes they're suffering a lot of problems and you don't even know now, for if you want to if you want to punish a child, I've, I've read this article, and uh, uh, I said I said recently that punishment is most effective when it is applied immediately and in private. This is the best way to to punish to punish your your child because sometimes when you say uh, when you tell your child that you're going to punish them at home and where you're going to talk about it at home, sometimes it can get you know. Uh, children start overthinking they're like i'm going to i'm going to get punished really bad and you know it can end up in a lot of a lot of wrong uh, situations now uh, you have to take a deep breath count to 3 and tell your child in a firm but measured tone that you are furious and wait until you've calmed down to actually do something about the situation this is perfect way to punish a child and thank you so and now we saw the floor is yours Thank you. Ayala. Um, and let me say something. I'm sorry. Please, can you please be more concise because other people are still waiting while you're talking too much, taking so much time, and uh, suggest solutions because um, so far, like I am, the only one who spoke about suggested any solutions. So keep that in mind. Okay. Well, so honestly, I just want to say that. The public humiliation is not a is not a reasonable parenting strategy because actually it is just psychological dam damaging to the child and I think like the parents when they say when when they do this it is they they think that they're right but unfortunately being a parent does not mean being right every time and like when they do this they 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 always wear wear the children to to respect them and to to give them like more value but unfortunately as we know like a respect will never come uh, from disrespect because they disrespect and they ridicule their feelings and i want to say that uh it, this this strategy of the public humiliation it is just a model 
or it, it is a model of a lack of empathy, respect, tact, and maturity, because actually it is just a thumbs up of a bullying. In addition to this, I want to say that when you mock your children as they struggle, and they will, they will learn that they will never, they will never share their struggles with you. So that's why I want, I want to say that one of the, the solutions I really like and I really enjoyed when I was reading the article, it was showing, uh, showing and tell. When you show the children that what, what they are doing is not good enough and what they, what they should do, and this is wrong, this is right, they, they will understand you and they will follow your, your footsteps and they will agree with you, of course. Uh, and you should give them like your attention when the most like uh, powerful tool of the effective discipline is attention like when you give the, uh, your children attention like he knows that uh, he knows very well that you give them attention so that's why he will give you attention too and he will respect you too and he will follow what you're doing and what you're saying uh now Rim, feel free to speak when parents are shaming their uh, kids publicly i think that also the parents are getting ashamed because, um, first of all, people would say that the parents didn't educate their kids well. It's not the kids' fault because parents are, the, are responsible of the kids' um, education. Also, for example, my friends have like this idea that, that my mom is kind and nice and everything. She's the perfect mom. But as soon as they would see her um, doing something bad to me or yelling at me I mean they would they would think that she's always like this and uh, even though it's not something big she just makes it a big deal and everything um, I think that for those parents who choose to shame their kids publicly maybe if they just just threaten them because we know that kids wouldn't like to be uh, publicly ashamed and uh, let you know everyone that their parents treat them like this. I think that the parents could have just said that they recorded a video of them doing that those bad things and they would tell them that if they would do it uh, once again they would post this video but never do it because um, as, we, as uh, I read the article that um, Isabel suicide because of public shaming. I mean, of course, we, we all would be ashamed if our parents um, uh, post a video of us uh, getting our head shaved or something. Also, when Hussein said that it's not a big deal, when we are watching those videos, we think that it's not a big deal, but uh, what the child is feeling and also if he was walking around and people recognize him because of that video and they start um, pointing at him and saying stuff I mean everyone would feel depression and everything and they would just want to die so now we'll move on to Nuhaila Nuhaila the floor is yours Thank you, Aya. So first, I want to speak about Wayman Grishman, the father of a shame on kids shamers, and uh, let it, let it say Powers, the editorial director of Yo Parenting, when she said that, where are you going to win if you shame your kid on public? I don't say, don't punish your child, but at least care about your child's feelings. So uh, why it's important to free your child from from building of shaming. First, because shame leads to the to the child's self-esteem. And second, shame can result in kid not having confidence to hold boundaries. And we can say also that it can, it can drive them to suicide. For example, Isabel, uh, the pretty girl who suicide just because her parents cuts her hair. This is just an example of people who suicide just because of their parents' narcissism. So here I have some solutions or can say ways to discipline your child, uh, to end my speech, of course. Show them and tell them. So you can show them respect and love so that they can tell you why they did that. And uh, you should also give consequences so that they can know what, 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 
why it's not uh, good and also give them your attention and time so if you did all those th things be sure that your your child and uh, be sure that this punishment will be more effective than shaming him in public thank you so i think it's rania's turn so actually i just want to share what i think is the perfect punishment because i feel punishment is something benefit um, I don't, I'm not saying that public shaming is good, but I'm saying that punishment is good. So I think that the punishment is good as long as it doesn't destroy the child's future. Maybe you're gonna, you're gonna insult him, maybe you're gonna hit him, maybe you're gonna take off his phone or not let him go outside, but at least this just, he, 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 not everyone knows about it. Like maybe, maybe sometimes your parents will punish you i mean i'm i'm pretty sure everyone got punished here but not publicly and no one knows about it so so it's better like that um okay so what i was trying to um to say is that the best way to punish a child is to actually do an interrogation like you know those interrogation where you put the pressure on the child like that happened to me with my father and it's the worst punishment ever. I was, I was like in a room just with him. It was just the kitchen table between us. And he was asking me questions and I never want to do that again. I will never try to do something like that bad again, just because I don't want to confront him because he's too scary. So yeah, um, I also think there should be a law against public shaming. Uh, either it's a parent, a teacher or a cousin or whatever, Public shaming should not be a thing and should be totally forbidden. Romaisa uh, Malhawi, the floor is yours. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, I, I want to speak about what Hussein said at first. Like, we know what that, that some things are wrong, but this is what we want. Like, when you are a kid, like, you want to do those things, even if you know that they are wrong. But I think the best solution parents can do is let, just let their kids to assume consequences because when you assume consequences like um, you will never do it again like you will ha have a flashback and you will think what did like what did I do and the stuff and you will know that is wrong so you will never do it again um, and uh, I want to say another thing which is like um, when you when parents shame their kids like the kids like personally I don't want to like at school, I don't want to walk with with the student, which is like um, always depressed and always sad. I want some friends that are happy. So this kid will always be lonely and uh, will never find friends. Um, and um, um, to the solutions, like um, in the article, there is the show and tell. I think this is the best solution we can we can do just sit with your children and try to to speak in a call a calm way and just explain explaining is the best way and of course in, in not aggressive way and even uh, i'm not like um i do agree that punishments are good but of course not in public that's it thank you um we move on to nizar siddiq so like when humiliating someone, like you are just reducing his confidence, you cause him some psychological problems. And like, so as a consequence, his, like the normal development like gets interrupted. And so uh, this is like why many adults are not feeling good enough in their life. So if we wanna like solve this problem, I think that I suggest like that those parents should try to understand their kids' situations. And that, like, I do believe that dialogue is the best solution because like, it is a way that, like, that can build up the trust between like, the parents and the kids. So, and that's it. Um, thank you. Uh, for those of you who have already spoken, can you please put your hands down? We move on to Shayma Awashan. Hello? Yes, yes, thank you, Aya, so much. Um, some parents focus so much on the child's behavior and forget about the relationship that bonds them together, the parent and the child. 
So the parents start to correct the kid as if treating and correcting mistakes in an essay. They forget that kids are fragile and sensitive uh, human beings. Kids are inexperienced. So it's the role of the parents that to, to redirect the child's behavior. The parent is the mature one and not vice versa. So parents should expect wrong behaviors and when it comes to connecting or redirecting the behavior, they should be smart about it. If you're, you see a child or your child is yelling or always being frustrated, mad or sad all the time, then the parent should revise his or her actions in front of the child because at the end, the child is a mirror of his or her parents and environment. The parents should sit, listen, and be friend to their kid. Always lend a helping hand. Parents can put limits, but with a, a loving and a caring way. If parents love their kid, then show that love to them. Being toxic, toxic toward your child will only lead to a chain a whole chain of toxic uh, toxic generations given t too much tough love will only lead to hatred poor life uh, qu quality anxiety or even suicide uh, toxic parents they they take the spark and will of living from their kids without knowing it and it is a dead serious problem uh, also some parents some parents forget that they can't keep their, their kid forever. They're going to be grown up someday. They're going to live and have their own life. And I would love to quote um, uh, Khalil Gibran's um, saying in his book, The Prophet. He said, your child, uh, your children are not your children. They are, they are sons and daughters of life as uh, life's longing for itself. They come through you but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they, they belong not to you. And toxic parents should shift their behaviors and be empathetic, sympathetic towards the, their, their children before it's too late. Um, parents love their kids. Some parents love their kids because of their achievements, but they don't think that their kids, they love them because just they exist. They love them because they're their parents. Maybe this concept or this idea can help toxic parents be better parents. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Um, guys, time's chasing us, so can you please be even more concise because I see that a lot of students, tons of students who want to speak. Um, but I hear the next one. It's late. <laughs> Well, I think that I consider all of it as uh, bullying first. Well, I, here's the thing. Most parents are dead against bullying at school and worry that their children will be bullied. And many parents know firsthand just how cruel those playground tents can be and how much they can affect the child's confidence. Even as an adult, you never forget that one kid and what he or she said or did to you. So for, but for some children, bullying doesn't happen during uh, school hours. It happens at home. Shaming your children is a form of bullying. It's really that simple. And uh, Kirstie Sue said, um, the moment we shame our own child is the moment we teach them that it's acceptable to bully another human being. And uh, second, I think that um, these kind of actions, it defines your child potentially for life. Yes, maybe the child may have made a bad choice or done something unacceptable, but this isn't the sum of your child. And parents do know that. They know that while she may have done something you don't like, it doesn't mean that he's or she's bad. They're just learning and we all make mistakes. It's important that your child knows this. If you publicly shame your child, especially if that post uh, goes viral, as all of the, the videos we've been watching a few minutes ago, then this will become something that defines your child. Just think of it like this way. Um, friends, family members, and total strangers will remember your child be this one mistake. All this sent, uh, sends the, mes the message that your child is this one mistake, which can end becoming a source of deep emotional and psychological issues down the track. Uh, and I, I, uh, I also think that the child should be able to trust the parents. We all make mistakes, as I mentioned before, no matter how old we are. 
And I think that parents have probably made mistakes at work over the past few years. But luckily, their boss hasn't shared this with everyone on the internet. People mess up, kids mess up, and it's part of life. What's important is what comes next. The child needs to be able to trust their parents, to know that they love them unconditionally, and to know that she or he can come to you with any problem for help. But by shaping, uh, shaming your child, you're burning that bridge, I think. Um, and also, the child simply isn't going to seek you out for help, support, and guidance, again, for fear of being publicly humiliated. And um, what's the person, uh, like, I think that this is really bad of thinking, like, of once the person who's supposed to love and nurture them the most breaks their trust. I think, can you see, like, how this might manifest in their future relationships with others? I believe that no child should grow up having to recover from their childhood. I think that this is really sad. So um, I read the, an article that said um, parents should allow for natural consequences. Natural consequences allow uh, children to learn from their own mistakes. For example, if your child says he's not going to wear a jacket, let him go outside and get cold as long as it's safe to do so. And um, using natural consequences when you think your child will learn from his own mistakes monitor the situation to ensure that your child won't experience any real danger and also um they suggested uh, letting them um identify the problem a conversation not a screaming match can help your child identify what is they did wrong or how they should behave for example like asking them questions like how do you think your, te your teacher feels when you spoke to them like that? Or maybe how would you feel if that was you? Once they have Id uh, identified the problem and the effects of the problem, you can speak the to them about making things right. And this can be by forms for of, uh, like a letter or a personal apology to the person on uh, whom they have did something wrong. And thank you. Um, the next one is Mohamed Birush. And please don't forget to put your hands down after you finish speaking, because... Uh, thank you, Aya, for giving me the chance uh, to speak. You're so, welcome. shame tends to be a feeling that sticks around and it lasts longer. As a parent, you're working to build a long-term relationship between you and your child. But when shaming him in public, you are hurting him emotionally and physically. In this way, when he's growing up, He's feeling unloved and unwanted, and my and my up and then and my end up holding some hate for you. You can also push him to do some bad things that he didn't do before, such as drug, alcohol, just to forget his problems. The solution that I suggest is to try to hear your child and give them and give them your attention. Show show them that you care about them and set some limits. Thank you. Um, we move on to Bayan. Thank you, Aya, for giving me this opportunity to speak. Actually, it seems like everyone is agreeing about the fact that uh, shaming kids publicly is wrong and is not... not me. Yes, except you, Seh uh, Hussain. But the vast majority, let's say, the vast majority agree about that. And what, the, what parents call creative way of disciplining or whatever it is is wrong and it is considered more as a child abuse and bullying which teach which teaches the kids that bullying is acceptable and it is wrong as well as a research done by Gorg Walters he said that there's a lot of evidence showing the very worst thing you can do developmentally for a child is humiliate them so that is wrong and this proves it. Kids, when you shame them publicly, it doesn't only affect, it affects their personality and it affects their environment, the way they're going to start treating them because they're going to only focus on the mistake he did and the way their parents took it and they're going to base their relationships on that, which is very bad and traumatizing to live in such a life where everything bullies you, not only your parents, but also your friends. So kids could go through depression and have self-doubting and self and lack of self-worth. 
So uh, for me, the greatest solution to stop this is to actually give attention to the kids, ask them why they're doing it and listening to them, not directly punishing them, not knowing even the reason why they acted like that. That's what I think. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, the, the floor is yours, I'm sorry. Thank you, Aya, for giving me the, the opportunity to speak. So uh, I totally agree with you guys. Um, and I think that Shaman Kids uh, has been a sensitive topics nowadays. And I personally think that, believe that parents aren't aware of the consequences of depraving kids and putting them to shame. And I personally think that it is mandatory to have a strong relationship between parents and kids um, in order to avoid this misunderstandings and mistakes that push parents to put them in shame. I think it's very dangerous because shame tends to be a feeling that lasts longer than you realize or attend. And punishment and public humiliation is not an effective solution. Even though they come with some unacceptable mistakes, parents should listen to them. And as we know, the skill of show and tell, let them express themselves and explain. And uh, I think this is the true solution uh, is to strengthen the communication with their kids in order to solve their problems. Otherwise they will um, feel and fall into some psychological problems uh, such as commit to suicide. And thank you. Uh, shaming is hotly debated in our society nowadays. And I personally think that spanking, slapping, shaming and yelling isn't effective to correct a child's behavior. Uh, beyond that, harsh physical and verbal punishments can damage a child's long-term mental health. Um, when kids get spanked by their caregivers, they're more likely to hit others when they don't get what they want. And it can even teach them that harming someone is okay, even those they love. In addition, uh, they can suffer from toxic stress, low self-esteem, anxiety, depression, and can lead them to show a false personality and be overconfident to show inferior inferiority, as well as being reserved and sociable and shy to uh, express their ideas, emotions, and also afraid to practice social activities or even lose cooperation with their parents that they can never share their lives with them. Parents should teach a good behavior rather than punishing a bad behavior. I suggest that, uh, that they should show and tell their kids the right from wrong with calm words and actions and give them a clear consistent rules that they can follow Besides explaining calmly and firmly the consequences if they misbehave and do not deprive them from things they truly need, for example, uh, a baby bottle. Then give them compliments, uh, flatter them when they do something good and notice their good behaviors and praise them for that. And before all, parents should be prefer uh, prepared for trouble. They should plan for situations when their child will misbehave and prepare a new strat strategy for the next time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, uh, so as we saw in the video, there were different parents who were punishing, punishing their kids publicly because of their misbehavior. And so guys, if you have um, some to share about any solutions or consequences about uh, this uh, behavior, just share it with us. So uh, raise your hands. So Habib Dwat, you can go. Well, I think that this uh, this um, this is a very uh, serious problem. Uh, what like impressed me most is how they are filming their kids' reaction. As I uh, recently said. I don't understand what is the reason why. Why are you treating your, your kids th this way? Well, I think th this will like quickly backfire. Yes, it can. It can work. Like it can work if if you if you're punishing your kids this way, it can work. But it will quickly backfire. It will it will just tears down the trust and uh, 
tr the trust you have between you and your kids and the self-esteem that kids have and it will crush the child's motivation to be engaged in the, the very behavior you want to to see him like in engaged in so i think like the the parents should make a difference between shaming their kids and make him and making their kids feel the guilt actually uh, they sh should find a way to make to make kids feel feel a sense of guilt and regret because guilt and regret will change their behavior they are enough to change the behavior of the kids but shame will destroy the kid like i read in an article that guilt said I did like when when you when the kid feel 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 the feel the guilt he will say I did something bad but when he will feel, feel the shame he will say I am bad so I I just want to say that parents should know how to deal with their uh, with their with their kids thank you for an amazing intervention so uh, now we move to Zainab Ibrahimi the parents should be the first people to understand their child and to feel him they should treat him the same way they want them to be treated. Like they don't, they just don't care about their emotions. Like as we saw in the video, the woman, the mother, I'm sorry, the mother who bought her, to her child um, a gift or a game just so she can take it back. Just like so he can feel very bad or just he can get hurt it. Like, didn't she think about how that can, how much that can hurt her child's feeling? Like, they don't care about their feeling or even their psychological and their social life. They don't care about it. Like, just imagine with me, your child's getting bullied at school and people making fun of him. They, he can't have friends anymore. Everyone hates him. They might hate him. They may think that he did something very bad. And I agree when, with Dua, with Dua when she said that there is a big difference between when a child say that he might, he did something very bad and when he say that he is bad. And I think as a solution for me as a daughter, the best, the best solution is communication. So here the parents can understand their child. You should always remember as parents, we are waiting for you to be here for us, to help us, to show us your love and support not to be against us and to expose us and humiliate us. Thank you, Zaina, for your bright ideas. Now we move to uh, Umnia Hajam. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mana. Uh, so for my opinion, I think that shaming kids, it can lead to lifelong problems, uh, damage the child's self-esteem, and also uh, depression and anxiety. Um, that's very a uh, big problem and because the child is can believe that is unworthy of love and the words that is 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 believing that he's not good enough and it's so big problem and also i really love something that um so was time she said treat children like you want to be treated uh, it's not just about, about parents, it's also teacher because like they are they are the ones who communicate with children a lot. Uh, they should uh, treat them with love, with passion, and they should accept, teach, and save them from that problem and, uh, and teach them that it's okay to make mistakes, to get things wrong. As they are young and they still learning from them. And like I searched and I found like I, I really like two solutions. Uh, first of all, it's empathy. Because if just sometime we think and like parents or teacher think and try to put themselves uh, into into someone else's shoes and try to uh, try, they can understand how it's hard and painful to hear sh shaming words. And also uh, something else, try to ask ourselves and and ask ourselves and take a step back and uh, try to say, are the words I'm gonna say to that children are uh, helpful for this situation and are true and necessary? And I think that if those become the norm of the household or uh, the classroom, 
uh, we cannot say we cannot we can uh, we can have like children and young people grow up with the love and value system that can make a big change in the world. Thank you. Yes, thank you for your intervention. Uh, so yes, Mint Kudani, your the floor is yours. Uh, okay, thank you. So actually, that's that's so awful and so sad to see parents uh, doing this. Actually, the aren't real parents know that their children will never share in, anything with their parents, uh, anything with their parents ever again. So why they would hurt their kids in that way? Actually, there are many ways to to discipline your kid. For example, you can teach your children right from wrong with calm words and actions, model behaviors you would. And you can, you can have a clear and consistent rules your children can follow. Just be sure to explain these rules in age-appropriate terms they can understand. So just uh, stop this healthy way to punish a kid. Thank you. Yes, so thank you, Manik. Uh, so for me, uh, of course, as we all know, shaming is a very narcissist way to, uh, to educate your kids and all those stuff. But now we talk about solutions so for me the best solution is like what Zainab said is the good talk the communication you should like listen to their heart listen to their problems uh, just understand what make them really uh condemn such uh you know such problem or such bad behavior so you should first uh know the causes behind the reason behind uh, these uh these misbehavior so that you can just uh then find a solution for example like um tell me, rather than shaming him this time you just tell him next time don't do this or just like cl clarifying like some uh, uh consequences like if you do this again you will just have such bad such negative consequences you will just it will just have a very bad impact on your future etc so just like clarifying those bad points he can suffer from because of uh, such uh, misbehavior as i said and i think like uh, also we, they should teach them the novel skills to acquire and to correct like uh, those uh, improper conduct by avoiding some stuff like um, you know avoid this and these as i said before uh, and yeah rather than just sh sh shaming him in front of like millions of people he will just feel um he will just feel that much like you know no he have no dignity like he will bow his head and said like which is he he will never he, he will he will it's like he which um he was never in these word and i don't know like uh, the parents enjoy this these things like uh, you seeing your kids with tears running down his checks like i don't know there is like parents with these hearts so instead of doing this like uh just clarify the mistake you have done by a good communication a good talk and uh yeah good advices so yeah this is what you want to say yes thank you azhar uh so we move to wisal yeah, thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak. So, um, while punishment is only one part of instilling discipline in a growing child when it is wrong, when he is wrong, it's an important part to let the kid feel the mistakes he did. But knowing how to punish him um, is crucial for raising a mature or productive adult. Uh, but hum humiliating this little angel publicly without caring about his ego, his feelings, it's awful. It's really serious. I don't really appreciate this idea. Because when the parents sleep the night, maybe their kid gonna spend it rather sleeping but crying the whole dark night. And the tears running down his cheeks thinking about how their friends gonna laugh to them the next mornings in school or people or whoever. Yeah, it's right to let the children feel their mistakes to never repeat in it again. But there is always a way, a peaceful way. Maybe by discussing with them, understand the reasons that push them to do that. So we never must use violence, here physiological violence, and it's much, it's much harder than the physical one. After all, this person is still a kid and one who's gonna teach the next generation. If we teach them that like this way, we never, we will always like, live in narcissism and in a bad way. So thank you. 
Thank you for speaking. Uh, so, the, um, yes, uh, thank you. I think the best solution is to actually just talk to your kids instead of um, filming, uh, like punishing them, like filming it and posting it on social media. Because like when you're talking to your kids, you're connecting with them. And maybe the child will then realize what he did and he will learn from it. Um, because like you never know the real story behind it. You never know why he did that. Um, you know, children are still young. They make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. And as a parent, if you just like embarrass them on social media or make them wear signs um, or, you know, something else like that, you're just making it, ma making it worse. Um, like if he doesn't listen when you talk to them, then maybe just take his phone away instead of embarrassing him all the time and making him feel worthless. Like he can live in a live a emotional life from that, and I don't think it's gonna help. Like just the best way is to communicate with your kids. And uh, thank you. Thank you, Zainab. Uh, now we move to Lamia. For me, the communication between the parents and the son is very important. Like when the, when the parents communicate with the child, I, I don't think that the, the child will not listen to his, uh, his parents. Like when the parents like, like give the time to his son and they speak uh, about their, their problems. Like if the son have a problem, like they should, uh, they should say it to his, uh, to, his par uh, to his parents, like to find solution. <clears throat> For me, like shaming will never be a solution like when you shame the when the parents shame the their son in public like the son will be depressed and they will uh, hate their parents for me if the parents communicate with the, his uh, children like the children i think that he will uh, listen to his parents uh yeah yeah thank uh, i agree with you Ada. uh so we move to Hamza Mahbou, and i have a question uh, uh, the, 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 the father or the parents, if uh, they, they will do this, this, this type of punishment, but uh, in private, not in public, they have the right to do this. So, uh, uh, thanks, Ayman. So, so, in my opinion, if I was a father, so actually, of course, of course, I'm not going to broad broadcast or to film a video on YouTube because it, uh, as for me, it doesn't make any sense broadcasting video destroying uh, sounds console in YouTube because our kids will will feel will feel, will feel the shame and they will feel also a a, a pang of uh, of sorrow. So actually, uh, we must we must. We must solve the problem. If if the kids are uh, uh, do a mistake or something like that, we we discuss with them or we solve this problem in a very easy way. Not to we can also destroy their uh, console or their phones, but we must not. Uh, of course, we must not uh, broadcast it or film it. And also, the kids will if you if you destroy their console or broadcast or you maltreat them. They will, they will uh, hate you, and they will. And there's also revenge. The, the kids can can also sometimes be very, very sad and very angry, and they will, they will also destroy their parents' phone. So, actually, so I think shaming may may make children feel bad about themselves. When the people you love the most and whose opinions matter the most, like saying bad things of you, it's like being hurtful and for this parents who like share the share this uh, this videos in the social media and uh, in the news like we will see these videos in the news and it will be more and more and more popular so we will be you will get more and more and more and more hurt can you speak yes uh, i think this is just a very bad idea to punish the child uh, in public or post, post it on social media 
because um, uh, the best solution is, is to discuss or if it's necessary you can just do it in private to not post in it because posting it will destroy child child personality and uh, it will put them under the cloud and uh, like he will hate his life and after it will be your mistake and not the mistake of the child because we all do mistakes so we're like even the parents when they will child they actually did the same mistake so yeah uh, we should like we should um, care about our child personal and uh, and like life because he will get shamed and and he will like hate his life so we all do mistakes so we can give him a chance so to to we can give him a chance so not like uh, I mean, the first time we punish him give him a chance and if it's necessary but not posting it because if if you post it, um, it will bring shame on you too because it's your mistake, but not a mistake of the child. Uh, yeah, uh, I agree with you. So uh, uh, I'm with Abalu. I see your hands. Uh, yeah. Up. So uh, go I ahead. Yeah, I think that sometimes uh, we have divorce or uh, family's problem that uh, have some effect uh, on the child, children, and. Uh, uh, in another few, we have that uh, in school, uh, the teachers start to blame and uh, to blame the students on a public place that uh, that can make uh, the students uh, uh, shy and feel uh, sad and disappointed about uh, the teacher. Uh, uh, in this uh, way, uh, the parents try to to know this problem and to and to and to correct it. By an strong, by an correct uh, solution. 